Welcome back to Maths with Mrs J. We've been talking about ratios and rates. Probably one of the most common rates that people talk about is average speed. Average speed is your total distance travelled divided by the total time taken. Now, some people do remember this as separate formulae. I prefer just to remember it like this sub in what I know and rearrange then, rather than learning three different formulae. Okay, let's do our first question. Our first question is relatively straightforward. We know that average speed is our total distance divided by our total time. This one's fairly easy because we've just had one kind of journey, haven't we? So we've gone 338 kilometres in four hours and we can just use our calculator to do that. 338 divided by four gives us 84.5 kilometres per hour. Our next question is considerably more difficult. We have a, I guess you could call it a three-stage journey. There's part A of the journey, where Jane is traveling 120 kilometers in three hours and 15 minutes. Then she sat down for lunch, so she wasn't traveling anywhere for an hour and 20 minutes. And then she traveled at 85 kilometers per hour for two hours and 12 minutes. Now, the first thing I need to point out here is that time is not decimal. When I say three hours and 15 minutes, okay, I need to understand that that's three hours and 15 sixtieths of an hour, which is, you can either use the decimal 3.25 or you could say three and a quarter hours. Because we're going to be using our calculator anyway here, I might just keep it in fractions. The next amount of time is one hour and 20 minutes. So that's one hour and 20 sixtieths of an hour, which is one and one third hour. Our third amount of time is two hours and 12 minutes which is two hours and 12 sixtieths of an hour, which is two and a fifth hours. So that's our first important thing there. We need to understand that two hours and 12 minutes is not 2.12 hours. We need to be careful and remember that there are 60 minutes in an hour. Now what we're going to do is we're going to consider our journey in our three stages. So let's think about stage A. So she's traveling, we know the distance is 120 kilometers and we know that the time is three and a quarter hours. We don't even have to work out the speed there because we know that our average speed is our total distance divided by our total time. So what we need to calculate is all the distances and all the times. Exactly what speed she went for that first bit, we don't really care, we don't need to know. All right, for the second part of her journey, she sat down to enjoy lunch. So how far did she go? Well, she went zero kilometers. How long? Did she take to do that zero kilometres? One and a third hours. Now for part C, we are going to have to do a little bit of a calculation. Here we know that the speed is 85 kilometres per hour. And we know that the time was two and a fifth or 2.2 hours. So how far did she go? Well, if speed is distance on time, so speed, so our 85 is our D divided by our 2.2. So our distance, we're going to multiply our 85 by our 2.2. So we're going to get 
85 times 2.2, which is 187 kilometres. We are now at the point where we can put all of this together and we can say average speed is total distance over total time. And I would just use brackets here and add them up. So we've got our total distance is our 120 plus our zero, plus our 187 kilometres, all over, in hours, we had three and a quarter, plus one and a third, plus two and a fifth. Now, you can use, your, most calculators these days, you can enter that in. If you want to use it as decimals, that's fine. Just please be careful to either do an equals when you've worked out the numerator before you divide by the denominator or use brackets around both. And you will come out with approximately 45.26 kilometres per hour.